Oh, hello guys. Uh, my name is Parwis, and uh, today is our uh, fourth lesson of uh, OpenCV with Python. Uh, today, I want to show you how you can threshold an image. Uh, how thresholding an image is working in uh, OpenCV uh, with Python language. Uh, okay, first of all, what is image thresholding? Basically, I have an image in here. Uh, in this image, how many numbers do you see? Uh, most of you will see the number uh, 32, uh, 128, 255, which is brighter, 164. Uh, but uh, in fact, there is more to the image than what meets our eyes. Uh, however, if we, uh, this is uh, our original image. If we perform threshold operation on this image, uh, you will notice that all the numbers uh, look completely white like this 255. And here you can see we have 32. It is not uh, white, but 255 is white. After performing a uh, threshold operation, uh, all these numbers will be uh, white. Uh, uh, because uh, these numbers have a grayscale value of 255. Uh, and there is a uh, uh, in this, these numbers, there is another number 5, that the grayscale of that is 5. Now we cannot see that number, but when uh, we perform a threshold operation, uh, we will see that uh, number also. Uh, in fact, all the numbers in the original Im image have a grayscale value um, equal to the number. Uh, example, this 32 have a grayscale of 32, this uh, 64 have a grayscale of uh, grayscale of 64 and 255 have uh, a grayscale of 255. Therefore, uh, 255 is uh, the brightest and 5 is the darkest a number that we cannot see in here. Uh, reading number in the three-shouldered image uh, is way easier than reading number in the original image, uh, and also. Uh, OpenCV provides different style of tree shouldering. Uh, we have uh, trash binary, uh, trash binary inverse, uh, trash trunk, uh, trash to zero, trash to zero inverse. Uh, now uh, we perform our first tree shouldering. Uh, that's binary tree shouldering, and it is so easy. Uh, I have this image. Uh, I want to perform my tree shouldering operation in this image. But first of all import cv2 uh, now we want to upload our image let me zoom the screen okay uh, cv2 dot read uh, our image name is threshold uh, dot PNG dot PNG. Uh, now we want to uh, read this image. CV2 dot show this image. I'm show. Uh, the name I can give it or original pic picture image. CV2 dot weight key and uh, cv2 dot destroy all windows now if we run this mm, run sorry i let the back run you can see we have this image okay now this is the uh, original image now we want to perform Thresholding operation. First of all, binary threshold. Uh, for binary threshold, uh, first of all, uh, you should set threshold and max value. Uh, thresh, I give it zero, and uh, max value, I give it two fifty five. Okay. Uh, now I can. Perform threshold operation cv2 dot uh, 
threshold. We want to perform threshold on our image. Mm, thresh and max value. And now the type of threshold. This is CV2. Dot, uh, thresh underscore binary. Now we want to uh, show the image CV2 M show three shouldered image and uh, okay. Now I want to run this and uh, let me uh, zoom out. Okay. Uh, now I want to run. Uh, now you can see this is our original image, uh, but this is our tree shoulder image. You can see that we have uh, a gray pixel of 255 to all of our val values. Uh, you can see that we have five in here. Uh, this was uh, basically the simple uh, tree shoulder that was binary tree shoulder. Uh, and now if we uh, uh, change the uh, mm, the thresh uh, to 127 and the max value should be uh, 255. Now, if we run, uh, now you can see uh, because in here we have uh, up, uh, we have assigned uh, the thresh value to 125, the numbers that are uh, bigger than 125 we can see them 128 180 to 55 200 but the numbers that are lower than 127 we cannot see uh, you can see there is no uh, 32 there is no 100 there is no 64 uh, okay now we have uh, another kind of uh, thresholding that's called Inverse binary thresholding. Uh, basically, inverse binary thresholding is just the opposite of binary thresholding. The destination pixel is uh, set to zero. Uh, if the corresponding source pixel is greater than the threshold and uh, to max value, if the source pixel is less than the threshold. Okay. Uh, simply, you can change this uh, CV2 dot. Thresh binary binary underscore uh, inverse inverse uh, now uh, change this to the thresh should be yeah the value is correct now we can run this now you can see okay just we should mm, change this to zero the thresh value and now we can run now you can see basically it is uh, uh, inverse binary thresholding is just the opposite of the first binary uh, our first binary binary tree shoulding okay uh, now we have mm, Another uh, tree shoulding that is called tranquet tree shoulding. Uh, in this type of tree shoulding, the destination pixel is set to uh, set to the threshold uh, thresh. If the source pixel value is greater than the threshold, uh, otherwise it is set to the source pixel value, and uh, max value is ignored. And so just change this to. Uh, let me zoom in. Just, just change this to uh, thresh trank. Uh, okay, now we can run this. Mm. Mm. We have a, a black screen. Uh, just uh, give this the thresh value 127. Okay, now we can run. Uh, 
now you can see let me uh, now we have Trancet uh, Threshold uh, and this uh, Threshold you can see that the destination pixel is set to the Threshold uh, like this okay uh, the, the fourth uh, thresholding that we have that is called thresh to zero uh, and this kind of thresholding the destination pixel value is set to the uh, corresponding source pixel value uh, if the source pixel value is greater than the threshold otherwise it is set to the zero and max value is ignored okay uh, now just change this to uh, thresh to zero mm. okay now we can run uh, now you can see the result okay uh, the five and the last thresholding is called inverted threshold to zero uh, in this kind of thresholding, the destination pixel value is set to zero. Uh, if the source pixel value is uh, greater than the threshold, uh, otherwise uh, it is set to the source pixel value uh, and max value is ignored. Uh, just simply, you can change this to uh, to zero to zero inverse. Let me zoom it. And you can see correctly. Change this to CV to trash to zero inverse. Okay, now we can run. Yeah, this is you can see the uh, trash to zero by inverse. Uh, basically, it is the uh, the opposite of thresh to zero uh, okay guys uh, thank you this was our uh, three shoulding examples if you have any question uh, please let me know and also please subscribe my channel for more videos